Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia, and this is a special user-submitted video. Now, every day on the John Campia Show, people send in questions, but every once in a while, people send in questions with a tip of like $50 or more to support the channel, which is awesome, and I like to honor those questions by answering them in their own standalone video. So that's what we're going to do right now, and right now we're going to take one from Daniel Joseph, who writes, Good morning, John. Who has been one of your favorite actors this decade? For me, it's Adam Driver. Having never heard of him before The Force Awakens, then seeing and loving his performance in Logan Lucky, Black Klansman, Silence, etc., he's been a favorite of mine. All right, thanks a lot for that, uh, Daniel. And you're not wrong, brother. Adam Driver has had a hell of a decade. Because you're talking about big commercial success, of course, with the Star Wars movies. That's one thing. But Black Klansman, unbelievable. Logan Lucky, he was fantastic. And by the way, he's getting a lot of Oscar buzz right now. Most likely will get and might even win Best Actor at the Academy Awards this year. Just maybe. For his performance in Marriage Story. So his is definitely a big, big name this decade. He's not the guy that I believe has had the best decade uh, this decade so far, but he's absolutely up there in the conversation. I want to talk about a couple of other people who have had a magnificent decade. And the first guy I'm going to start off with is Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal has not only had a very prolific decade, like this guy has worked in a lot of movies this year, but a lot of great, fantastic movies with some great and fantastic performances. Some highlights got to be considered movies like Source Code, End of Watch, Prisoners, which he was fantastic in, Nightcrawler, which is when a lot of people scream that he should have been nominated for Best Actor in that, and he probably should have. But also movies like Southpaw, which I thought was better than it got credit for. A movie like Okja, Stronger, which did get him a lot of Oscar attention. And of course, now with everybody's kind of favorite right now, he was, of course, Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. So yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, I believe, has to be one of those names that is right up there with having one of the best uh, decades uh, that of all the actors around right now. Another name that you got to put up there, and I wouldn't even say he had the best decade, but it had one of the best decades is Daniel Day-Lewis, the undeniable, to me, greatest of all time. He had one of the best decades. Now, you might want to say, but John, he only did two movies this decade. Maybe that's true. But two movies, two Academy Award nominations, and one of them he won. So he is batting a 1,000% for the movies he did this decade for getting Academy Award nominations, and one of them he actually took home. That, that one was, of course, for Lincoln, and then Phantom Thread was the other film that he was nominated for Best Actor for. When you have only two movies, and both of them you're nominated for Academy Awards, and you have yet another Oscar sitting on yourself because one of them, you cannot deny that guy, even though he only did a couple of films... That guy definitely had one of the best decades. But to me, honestly, there's no question about who had the best, what individual actor had the best, you know, 2010s decade as, a, as far as a career goes, both in terms of incredible quality performances, incredible quality movies, and being very prolific and having worked a bunch in the last 10 years. And I think that's got to be Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, let's just take a step back and look at this guy's filmography from the last 10 years. You're starting off the decade with movies like Shutter Island, Inception, J. Edgar, which wasn't the best movie, but his performance in it was absolutely incredible. Django Unchained, which was incredible. His performance in The Great Gatsby was amazing. Then there was his amazing collaboration with uh, Martin Scorsese with The Wolf of Wall Street, which you can't say enough about. Then he wins his Academy Award in The Revenant, and now he's got a little movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which could be getting him another Academy Award as an accolade of his own. I just think when you look at all the actors, and there are many of them, Adam Driver included, there are many actors who had a really good decade, absolutely. But the one for me has got to be Leo DiCaprio. When you look at the sheer number of films, 
hugely wonderful films with hugely wonderful performances. He's going to have multiple Academy Award nominations. He's got an Oscar on his mental from this decade. I just don't know how you don't say Leo DiCaprio didn't have the best decade as far as leading men goes. Uh, Maybe you have another idea, but that's the one for me. Speaking of which, guys, I want to know what you guys think. As you look down all the incredible performers in in the category of best lead actors, who do you think has had the best decade up until now, and really we're at the end of the decade anyway. Who's had the best decade? I say it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Maybe you think it's one of the other guys that I mentioned. Maybe you think it's somebody that I didn't even mention here I just totally forgot about. Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for now. Thanks a lot for being here. My name's John Campia, and until our next video, bye-bye.